Hey guys, hope you guys are having a good weekend. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit here. Doesn't seem to want to cooperate. So I'll just move the worksheet. It says use exponents to solve each equation. You may use a graphing calculator, but you must show some work to receive full credit. Well, let's just go ahead and use the algebra on, on these problems we're going to solve. So remember, when solving, we work PEMDAS in reverse. Okay, so we're going to start by undoing any adding and subtracting. So solving for x, we're going to undo any adding and subtracting first. So we're going to undo subtract 5 with add 5. So we get the cube root, 2x plus 3, that cancels, equals 3. Okay, next thing we undo is multiply, divide. There's no multiplying and dividing going on here. Next thing we do is exponent. Now this is an exponent because remember um, a root, a radical, is the same as an exponent. So we want to undo this radical. So since it's the third root, we're going to undo the third root by going to the third power undo a third root by raising it to the third power. So what you do to one side, you do to the other side. So the root and the power cancel. So we get 2x plus 3 equals 27. Okay, so we took care of that. Next thing we do is we do whatever is inside the parentheses or grouping symbol. Remember that sometimes I use a G here for grouping symbol, and our grouping symbol was the radical. So we're going to do what's inside this radical next. So dropping back down, we undo adding and subtracting first. Now you can't touch this until the grouping symbol is gone. Bring down the 2x, divide by 2, so we get x equals 12. Sorry about this, I'm running out of room here. So now let's see if we have the correct answer. Plug it back in, 2 times 12 is 24, 24 plus 3 is 27. The cube root of 27 is 3, 3 minus 5 is negative 2, checks out, correct answer. Okay, all right, let's go on to the back. Let's look at number 26. So, same process. We work PEMDAS backwards. We look for any adding and subtracting. Now we don't undo this. Do you know why? That's right, Christian. It's inside of a grouping symbol, and we don't do that until we get up here to parentheses. Very good. So no adding and subtracting to undo. Any multiplying and dividing? Yep, we have the multiply by 2. Now notice it's outside the grouping symbol, so we can get rid of it. Okay, so we end up with 3x minus 5 to the fourth power equals, let's see, 2 goes into 5 2 times, carry the 1, 2 goes into 17 8 times, carry the 1, 2 goes into 11 5 times, which is 10, carry the 1. 2 goes into 12 6 times, 2 goes into 12 6 times. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, losing my mind. That's what I get for doing it like that. Let's 
Friday. We all need a break on Friday, don't we? Oh, I was right. I was right. 2 goes into 12 six times, and then 2 goes into 2 one time. Anyway, dividing that up, we get 28,561. Now, we want to undo the exponent. So to undo the fourth power, we're going to do the fourth root. We're going to do the fourth root. So we're going to do the fourth root on both sides. Okay, so the fourth power and the fourth root cancel out. And then the fourth root of 28,561, I think I'll use my calculator for that. So second, sorry, math. I want the fourth root. I want this to be a four over here. Fourth root of 28,561. 13, which means 13 times 13 times 13 times 13 is that, 28,561. Okay, done. Now we take care of our grouping symbol, which in this case is the parentheses. Undo adding and subtracting first. Back down here. So 3x equals 18. Divide by 3, x equals 6. All right, so let's plug it in. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 minus 5 is 13. 13, let's see, 13 to the fourth power. And then multiply by 2. There we go. Good answer. All right, number 30. All right, so we have the fifth power and the second root. So to undo second root, we need a second power. To undo a fifth power, we need a fifth root. So basically, we're going to go ahead and raise this to the reciprocal. Notice, to undo a second root, we have a second power. To undo a fifth power, we have a fifth root. And what do we get when we multiply five halves times two fifths? We get one. So remember, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the same thing to the other side. So we end up with x equals, all right, let's go ahead and plug this in. 1024. I can't do this in my head. I know Gabriel can, but <clears throat> not me. Two fifths, 16. Now, let's see if we got the right answer. Now, how do we check this? Let's plug 16 back in for x. So 16 raised to the 5 halves power. we should end up with 1,024. Checks out. That one checked out. This one checks out. Answer. Okay. See you guys on Monday. Be prepared to finish this claw up on Monday. You're welcome to get a head start on it now if you'd like to.